Hello, friend Mormo here. Tonight I'm reviewing Lady Terror, which is Nathan Hill's newest film, and it came out on Amazon, I think, about a week ago. I've been real busy with my family and stuff and haven't had a chance to watch it yet. But I'm, I got, I already paid for it on Amazon. I, normally I make a video showing myself buying the movie, like finding the movie and buying the movie. But I had no trouble finding the movie. And interestingly enough, uh, Lady Terminator came up in the search results, which is a movie I've wanted to see for many years. I believe it's like an Asian Terminator ripoff. But uh, so I might be renting that as well in the future. But for now, I'm excited to see Lady Terror. And like I say, it's got Nathan Hill as the uh, director and writer, I believe, as well as actor. And uh, it's like an erotic thriller, and I'm really excited to see an erotic thriller because Hollywood doesn't really make erotic movies anymore. They don't make movies about adults behaving like adults anymore. So we got to go to Australia to get a quality adult thriller. And I'm down with that and uh, really excited to see the movie. So keep watching and I'll be right back to let you know what I thought. Okay, friends, so I just got done watching Lady Terror. And uh, the first thing I want to say about this movie is that it looks awesome. Um, I think Nathan Hill's movies, progressively, each one gets a little better. But this one just really dialed in the uh, look of the movie. And uh, the camera work and everything. This looked like a Amazon original, a Netflix original, a Hulu original, or like a um, network TV or even a Hollywood movie. It just looked flawless. It looked like a million bucks, to be honest. And uh, I see so many movies from filmmakers that will like never ever get close to Hollywood quality. But this, this movie looks flawless. It's just like... Extra. And I don't know enough about the process to know if it's like color uh, grading or like they got some super duper camera. I don't know, but it just looked like a million bucks. It, was, it looked perfect to me. And... Uh, It was an erotic thriller. And uh, when I, towards the end of watching it, I was thinking, man, this almost plays out like a film noir. And then I, I uh, looked, looked it up and saw that Monster Fest called it a neo noir. And uh, because it's kind of like a crime drama and uh, th with thriller aspects. And, um,. It's about a lawyer, and he's got a good practice, but uh, he's in a sexless relationship with his fiance, and, and it really seems to lack passion and everything. And then one day, uh, somebody tries to steal this woman's purse, and uh, Nathan Hill sees it, so he stops the guy kind of get him gets him in like some kind of hold with his arms behind his back and grabs the purse and the guy runs away so he returns the purse and then the woman who's who is like um looks really exotic like some kind of asian i don't know but she's sick and so he takes her to the doctor and then a few days later she calls him and says she wants to thank him for helping her 
and uh, they end up having sex and stuff or she's like some kind of dancer and then they end up having sex and then uh, he gets in a fight with his fiance and like she says, are you seeing another woman? Oh, so that's it. Well, guess what? I'm seeing another man. And then they take their rings off and it the relationship's over. And uh, he's got this new girlfriend now. But then there's this stepdad character. And... Uh, He's like abusive towards the new woman and uh, she starts talking to Nathan Hill telling him that uh, she wants to kill him and stuff and so you can figure out what happens next. It's really well paced. I was kind of looking at my phone a little bit in the first few minutes but then I put my phone away and just really got into the movie and uh, like I say it was well paced I w was never bored or anything and uh, it's just cool to see movies about adults doing adult things like having affairs and having sex and like being professionals and stuff and it just seems like I never see movies like that anymore. And I don't know if Hollywood even makes erotic thrillers anymore. I know most R-rated movies don't have sex or even adult themes half the time. And so, but this movie, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really awesome. And, uh, the, my main again it just looked so good it looked like just ultimate pro quality it couldn't have looked any better or been filmed any better than this uh just totally on par with everything professional hollywood and everything and uh, like I say, I just really appreciate getting getting to see adult stories, you know, and like, uh, it's just, well, you know, I watch a lot of trauma now and, and uh, I go, I used to go to the movies and see horror movies and R-rated movies, but uh, this movie, it's better. This, I'm glad I just stayed home and watched this movie. And uh, it's really awesome. And thanks so much for watching. And you can check it out on Amazon Prime. And just search for Lady Terror. And uh, you can go to more options and watch it in standard definition. If you want to save a dollar. And then it's only, I think, I think it's $3.99 for standard definition, $4.99 for high def. And it's totally worth it. And uh, I thought, like I say, I just really enjoyed it. And thanks so much for watching.